gentrification of Jamestown's Stellenbosch has taken the form of high cost unit and heavily secured gated villages like the Zalza Estate, Andewiba Estate, and the luxury retirement village, La Clemente. You should really look very carefully at the, what one can learn from the nature of property transactions in Stellenbosch. And I think in particular in that area, in the Dwyer River Valley and Stellenbosch more broadly, I mean what you're seeing in that area is the financialization of land. With land and beautiful scenery in abundance, it could be understandable that landowners in the municipality would attempt to maximize the potential value of their land assets. However, the incentive of pure profit has adverse consequences on an already marginalized and impoverished sector of the population. Backlogs are, are rising in all the municipalities in the, in the Cape Winelands, even in those areas which are relatively well located. The tangible result of this form of gentrification is the local inhabitants with their children on the street begging for the most basic of services. Yes, it's also crazy so warm when you get a blavis. Let her be a cat and a big spoon water. It's cold, I'll be my little slap as not for me. It's like a good pay of a beer. Oh, it's And also, also, water and also, also, los, I so scorn and anchor also, for scorn water and also, carry on so on, on so on, 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 warm up, babies and lay anchor on so, on so, this is so, this is so, this is me. The misguided solution to this crisis has been to move communities from one informal settlement to another by means of obfuscated and manipulative court documents whose contents can be deemed legally irrelevant, causing confusion and creating conditions for conflict. <laughs> If you think about the Kriyavkat elections, how can this cruelty, this indifference to avoidable human suffering, how can decent people go along with it? The best way that I can answer the question is to say that they, the owners, let's say, of Lop, and I don't know particularly who they are, but of any of those Tanabash mine farms are caught up in the global capitalist market.